Hey guys, I'm Shadow Night Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another traditional speed paint, but this time we are working on something of a personal challenge. This was uh, my New Year's resolution at the start of the year, and I imposed upon myself that I should draw at least one drawing per month on my Moleskine sketchbook. Now, this Moleskine sketchbook was given to me by my parents back in 2012 as a Christmas gift. Except I felt so guilty using it that I only had six drawings in it until the start of 2016. So I wasn't confident using it. I felt so much guilt drawing on it and I felt like I ruined the notebook. It was too expensive for my caliber of an artist. And the New Year's resolution was something I came up with to help gain confidence. Because I learned that drawing every day helps you gain helps you become more comfortable with your art and even though if it's not pro level people will just come in jobs buying it at least I would be able to make myself feel good about it and that's where the challenge it helped it work I'm very diligent completing everything I, I even do I even sometimes do two drawings a month depending on how much drawing drive I have that month so I think it's going pretty well. So if you have a mole skin and you feel guilty about it, make a new resolution and post it on Facebook. Like that is the only way I could keep myself from balking from the challenge. Just like I posted every month on Facebook and I felt like I had an obligation to show something every month even though maybe nobody cares about it. But at the very least, showing it on social media really forced me to finish something per month. So the markers we're using is the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pens and this in turn was my graduation gift from my parents since I graduated double degrees and extended my college stay for another two years than intended. So yes, I'm a double major basically. And since it was some, it's part their wish and part me being too young, but since they, were, they said they were proud of me, so they gave me something a bit expensive. And you must be wondering why not Copix? Copix are a bit hard to get here in the Philippines, so this is the next best thing. And they are India ink based markers, so they don't really work like alcohol markers. Or at least with what I've played around with with my friends, alcohol based markers. But you know, with how alcohol based markers, like they have blenders and they blend with each other a bit easily, especially with Copic markers. Uh, Inja ink, on the other hand, if you've ever used Inja ink, is... <laughs> it's fun. I mean, the way that I blend it is I use my finger to smudge the colors together a bit where there would be a demarcation point. And I would try to layer the colors by going with the base and then the shadow and then using the base to blend in the shadow. So it's a bit different, I think. So you'd see me like dabbing the paper every now and then. It's like me blending the colors a bit. It's actually pretty nice to use and I really like the box set. And I, I'm just like really obsessed with box sets to be honest. And it worked out pretty well. I also had a small two sets of six back when I was given this small skin as well. But since it felt so pro, I didn't use it either until 2015 because I felt guilty and I felt like I was wasting ink on something not good. <laughs> so it really is just a confidence matter to be honest. So okay, the, the thing that we're drawing right now is Blanche from Pokemon Go. And I know it's a big thing, everyone's talking about Pokemon Go. And I've been hyped for, about it since it was announced. <laughs> And I was even super hyped, especially when it released in the Americas. And even though it didn't come here to Asia until a month later, I was still hyped. I'm still just level 3 because 1, I'm a bum who just graduated, so I haven't been going out at all. Number 2, for the past two weeks, it's been raining so much here in the Philippines, and like it's so hard to go out without potentially getting your ass drenched. So I'm stuck at level 3. Eventually, I'll get to level 5 and choose Team Mystic. Since it has been the team that I've been planning to join 
even before the whole Mystic Valor Instinct War came about. So, just because I like Articuno, to be honest. And I like Blue. Blue and Articuno. That's my reason for joining Mystic. And I guess Blanche is pretty cool, and they're pretty cool themselves. I mean, Calm Demeanor will be win the battle. Like, sure. Hell yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd go for that. So the colors I tried to use for this drawing is something that would complement Blanche's uh, cool colors of blue and pale pale blonde. So I just went with colors that are pleasing to the eye. I hope it's pleasing to the eye. I tried my best. So what I'm doing are lavenders just now just so that it would complement or provide some warmth and contrast to Blanche's blue cold colors. Because Park and Candela got so much art, I thought that I need to do something to represent my team, even though I'm not part of it officially yet. But I'm pretty sure Blanche has a lot of art out there, but Spark has just been dominating the fan art field like the meme lord. <laughs> Please! <laughs> so I just drew a re very relaxed Blanche. Possibly a bit tired and sleepy from working. Originally, the table and the backrest was supposed to be gold and blue but then I realized it might blend in too much with Blanche's clothes so I went with something like a grey bluish tone instead but again I encourage you guys to maybe draw every day or if you have a mole skin as I mentioned try to draw every month at least and it would really help you get some confidence into using it. Like I had this stored in my closet for six years. No, 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 four years. I have I had this stored in four years, and my parents and my mom was like, you know, if you finish this, if you finished up the notebook like two years ago, I would have bought you more. But since you didn't, like we thought maybe you lost interest. No, I didn't lose interest. I just felt hella guilty using it. And it was a waste, I think. I would've... Hmm, is it really a waste? I don't know. It, it was a waste that I couldn't use it right away. And... It's a waste that the guilt ate up my consciousness, I guess. Just be confident with your art, I think. It's hard, I know, especially when there are so many other better artists who are using moleskins and you feel like, ah, it's a waste of money, I'm a waste of money, but someday you'll get better and it's better that you can look at the sketchbook and say, ah, this is where I started taking myself seriously because I started using a uh, moleskin and like, the moleskin pushed me to work on things not half acidly because that, like, that's what it made me do. Like, I want did something to be as close to my vision as possible so I worked really hard on this on, on drawings that I made on the most skin. Like I would do sketches and templates and thumbnails before I went and drew on the actual most skin. Just so that when I got to the most skin itself it was I was as ready as possible and would avoid as much mistakes as possible. So I wasn't doing things half assed. What I'm doing here is I'm lightly adding some green to everything just so that it would tie in with the background and just so that it wouldn't be like Blanche just stuck on the green wall and stuff like that.
So we are nearing the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please maybe like this video. Maybe even subscribe. I do a lot of fan arts and stuff on this channel. And follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. And I will see you around.